Welcome to Gossip Gymnasium here. Today we have the Campbell's Old Tigers taking on the Georgetown College Tigers. Both teams are the Tigers and both teams wearing white, which will cause a little bit of confusion. The Tigers of Campbellsville come into this contest with a record of 8-14. Their most recent game was a home victory against Midway, where they won in three straight sets. Georgetown, on the other hand, comes in as the number 17 team, or the number seven team in the nation. Their record is currently 19-5, and five, and they had a away victory against Thomas Moore. High excitement here tonight as two rival colleges will compete. The Georgetown starters are Finn Heineman, Ryan Gunn, Tyler Chavez, Tyree Wesley, Miguel Vega, and Liam Morrissey. And now for Campbellsville, our starters, Diego Betancourt, starting setter. Jakob Zoom Kolk will be our outside number one. And our junior middle, Alvaro Grand, big blocker up at the front here. And the other middle, Jovian Banks, big middle. Grand Banks, great blocking duo right there. Another outside, Reza Tanasebi. Came in a little late during the season, but has provided the Tigers with some much needed power. And another new face, Kareel Ade. And our final libero, Fernand Morales, the libero from Puerto Rico. Tigers hoping to compete defensively here as Georgetown has a very powerful offensive attack. We will take this moment to take a break for prayer and the national anthem. We'll be right back on the CU Sports Network. Welcome back to Gosser Gymnasium here. We're about to get underway here as the Campbell's Old Tigers face the Georgetown College Tigers. A little bit of background between these two teams. In the short years that they've been playing each other, which started in the 2020-2021 season, these teams have made quite the rivalry. Their biggest games were in the 2021 MSC Championship, which resulted the the Tigers of Campbellsville winning in five sets, resulting in their first conference championship in program history. And then the year after, and the 2022 MSC Championship, Georgetown came back and beat Campbellsville in five to win their first MSC Championship in program history. Georgetown has a very, very strong recruiting class, very strong starters, former MSC Player of the Year, Ryan Gunn of the 2020-2021 season is here starting. The current and, well, the reigning MSC Player of the Year, Christoph Kowalski, will be coming off the bench here. 
And again, here, Georgetown, very big up defensively and extreme power as they have many players with multiple kills. And all their players are usually in the running for some sort of MSC or NAI award. But let's talk about Campbellsville for a minute. Fresh off a win versus Midway, played very, very well. Showed them what they're capable of, got bounced a little bit. That was more preparation for this game. Georgetown is 9-0 and in the conference, while Campbellsville is an even record of 4-4. Four and four. Georgetown's going to start off serving here as number four, Finn Heineman, the sophomore setter, is here to serve. Top serve there, pass from Zoom Kolk. Morales back sets to a day. A dig by gun. And the swing by number nine, Tyler Chavez, goes out of bound. Campbellsville starts this game off with the first point. Back to serve now is Jakob Zoom Kolk. Zoom Kolk leading the team in kills here. Very successful season for him. 159 kills on the year for Zoom Kolk. Some other cool facts. Diego Betancourt is almost at 700 assists on the season. He's currently at 690. And for the team leader in blocks is Jovian Banks with a grand total of 64. And speaking of grand, Alvaro Grand has 43. Here's Zoom Kolk's float serve. Here's Heineman set. Outside there, dug up by Zoom Kolk. Tanisebi swings. Heineman gets it. And the roll shot from number 21, Liam Morrissey, is good for the kill. Drop right in front of Zoom Kolk. Late getting to it. Just has to be on his feet. And a substitution for the Tigers. Number 15, former libero Andres Laboy in for the Tigers here. Tyler Chavez is back to serve. Float serve on its way. And the ball goes right through Tanisebi's fingers. And that is an ace there for Chavez. Georgetown, a very disciplined volleyball team. That's what's gotten them most of the wins, along with their raw volleyball talent. Here's Ben Cor back set to a day. Middle attack here, dug by LeBoy. Grand tries to save it, but the ball goes backwards into the net, and LeBoy cannot pick it up. 3-1 in favor of Georgetown. Here's Chavez back to serve for yet again. Morales with the pass. Outside attack. Tanisebi uses his left hand and tricks Morrissey and pushes it down to get the kill. In for the Tigers now is Jovian Banks. And Alvaro Grand is back to serve. Float serve here. Here's an outside attack by Ryan Gunn. Gets the kill there. The thing that makes Gunn a very good attacker is the fact that he aims for the fingertips at the highest point of the block. That way, if the ball comes backwards, it's high and you can play it, or it goes out of bounds, or if it goes on Campbell's little side, he can get the kill that way. Here's the boy with the pass. Tanisebi swing, puts it down, gets the hard cross court kill. Hits it to the left of Miguel Vega, the sophomore middle from Columbia. Here's Betancourt to serve. Chavez with the pass. Heineman set to Vega is good for a kill. In the years that Georgetown and Campbellsville have played, no matter if it's three sets or five sets, these games are fast paced. Both teams very disciplined with their play. Here's Bencourt outside to a day. Gets the kill. Puts it through the block of Heineman and Vega. 
creases the back line, but they call it no. They say that the ball was out of bounds. That's a call that I don't necessarily uh, agree with, but I'm not a referee. And here's Morrissey to serve. Top float. Here's Banks. And as the kids nowadays say, ball don't lie. Tigers get the point back. And now in the front row, subbing in for Andres Laboy is Jakob Zoom Kolk. And Reza Tenesebi back to serve. Very dangerous from the line he is. Hard top serve by Tenesebi. Middle attack from Vega is good. He sees that Banks and Zoom Kolk were jumping up very, very high. Morales couldn't really keep track of where the ball was going to go. Put it right down inside the 10-foot line. And now we have junior Ryan Gunn. Serves it right to Zoom Kolk. That is tip. Here's Chavez gets blocked by Banks and a day. Excellent coverage there by the middle and the opposite. Here's Fernand Morales, top serve coming. Chavez plays it. Back set attack, goes to Vega. Morrissey swings and a block by Zoom Kolk. Back to Morrissey. And no block there as he gets the easy kill. Taking a little break here as we're getting the floor mopped up. But right now, looking at who we have to serve for Georgetown, don't know yet. And it's going to be Miguel Vega. And in for the middle now for Georgetown is Tyree Wesley. Georgetown has very big athletic middles. We'll see how Campbellsville can beat them there. As they go around a back row attack. And it looked beautiful until the ref blew the whistle and said that Tanisebi was over the line. The execution was great. Just the result's not what you wanted it to be. And here's Vega back to serve. Score is 9-5 in favor of Georgetown. Float serve on the way. And Tigers get the side out there. Here's Kareel Ade. Score is 9-6. Hard lefty top serve there. Those are the, the tough ones to pass. Zoom Kolk swings, Morrissey gets the dig off the hands, and Gunn rises up. Tanisebi gets the dig. Zoom Kolk free ball, Morrissey plays. Back set attack, blocked but dug up by Gunn. Morrissey, back row attack, out of bounds there. Good rally there, that results in a point for the Tigers. Tigers staying more disciplined defensively. Last match with Georgetown, Georgetown had their way with them. But they're playing hard now in this first set. Here's a day hard top serve dug up by Gunn. And Chavez gets the swing and the kill through the block of Betancourt and Grand. Finn Heineman is serving now. Top serve on its way, hard top serve, right to Zoom Kolk, but a really good pass. Zoom Kolk swing, Heineman gets the dig with his one hand. Chavez, roll shot goes out of bounds. The thing stayed up there for days and landed out of bounds. Point for the Tigers. Jakob Zoom Kolk back to serve now. Serve down the line to Chavez. Beautiful set outside. Morrissey is blocked by Betancourt and Grand. 
excellent play there on that ball as it had to be pushed all the way out and high to the outside. Grandin Betancourt read it perfectly. Down the line again goes Zoom Kolk. Back row attack there, and Gunn hammers it off the hands of Morales for a point. Andres Laboy comes back in. Chavez is back to serve as the Campbell's old front row. Yes, the front row attackers are very, very good, but you also have to watch out for that back row attack, especially if Ryan Gunn is back there. He's very deadly. And the play right there, they tried to swing hard cross court from the back row. Ball was out of bounds, but just barely. And here we have Kylo Chavez back to serve again as he and his Georgetown team are up by three and make it two now as he serves it towards the back wall. Out comes Morales. In comes Alvaro Gran. He's back to serve. And serve there. Pass by Hanneman. And the ball is coming right to us. And there's a kill by Gunn, but he almost killed our Sports Information Center over here with that that point and it's left to crack on our computer here's the serve Tennessee's roll shot dug up from Van Heinemann and Morales with the pass there and that's a kill for Campbellsville And just a heads up for those who are trying to keep up with the live stats, they are currently down right now. Um, sports information stuff is uh, kind of messed up. But anyways, while we take this little break, while they're cleaning up, uh, Tigers giving them some defensive tips. Really got to watch out for that back row attack and adjust, especially the Tiger back row, adjust to where the blockers are. That's going to make the hits easier to dig and it'll allow you to play a more fluent offense. In Georgetown, it's really that first ball on the serve. As soon as you get that first pass, you can do whatever you want. But Campbellsville is making them slightly uncomfortable even though they have the lead. And just like Looney Tunes, we are back in action here as Betancourt is ready to serve away. And there's not much action there as he serves it into the net. And now Liam Morrissey is going back to serve. And for Campbellsville now, number 10, Jakob Zumkolk had a little bit of mic difficulties there. Here's Tennis Ebby serving for Campbellsville. And the ball goes into the net. Back to serve for Georgetown now is Ryan Gunn. Former MSC Player of the Year. His team is up by three as they are trying to rally off a set one victory. Hard serve there. Tennessee gets the dig. Morales, pass. Zoom Kolk sends one far. And Zoom Kolk hammers the free ball down. That's a front row player's dream right there. And Zoom Kolk puts it down for Campbellsville. Here's Morales to serve. Good top serve. And... Gun, a sniper from the back row. Gets a kill there for Georgetown. Vega's back to serve. Here's 
Here's Tanisebi, pass. Zoom Kolk makes the play. Block, but Grand digs it up. And Zoom Kolk swings again. Blocked again. And Betancourt sets again. And Ade gets the kill there. And now Ade is serving for the Tigers. For the Camelsville Tigers, that is. I gotta say, it's quite confusing when you have two teams both named Tigers. And Georgetown gets the point as Ade serves it out of bounds. Heineman back to serve for Georgetown. And his serve goes into the net, and that's a point for Campbellsville. Seventeen fifteen is the score in favor of Georgetown. Heineman plays it. CJ Bride, the libero, sets it to Morrissey. And the ball is touched off the fingertips of Benton, Court, and Grand. Andres Leboy is back in for Campbellsville. Chavez is back to serve for Georgetown. Float serve underway here. Tanisebi, pass. Outside set is good for a Campbellsville kill. Alvaro Grand is back to serve. Balls up, up and away here. Gun with the serve received. And Morrissey's swing would have been good for a kill had it not been for the ball hitting the antenna. So close, no matter how far. And we have Grand serving for the second time in a row. One point game here. Georgetown leads Campbellsville 18 to 17. And Morrissey's roll shot goes right in the campfire. And C.J. Bride is back to serve for Georgetown. Both serve there. Tennis Ebby with the pass. Outside set. Beautiful roll shot there by Tennis Ebby. The best roll shots are where you flick the wrist and the ball has just enough spin to barely go over the fingers and land directly behind the blockers. Here's Heineman, outside set gun. And he's a sniper on that line shot. Here's a kill for Ryan Gunn and the and Georgetown is up. 20 to 18 here as Coach Alvarez calls a timeout for his Campbellsville team. We'll be right back here on the CU Sports Network.
Coming out of a timeout here, we are back in Gosser Gymnasium. You're watching Campbellsville Tiger Volleyball here on the CU Sports Network. Georgetown is up by two, 20 to 18, as Liam Morrissey is back to serve here. The senior from Las Vegas, Nevada, sends it right to Morales, who's outside set to a day. Is dug up by Morrissey. And here's Gunn, far tip. Trying to get the touch there, unsuccessful, and that's a point for Campbellsville. In for Campbellsville now comes Jakob Zoom Kolk, and Reza Tanasebi is serving. Can he rally his team from down by one to win this set? That'd be huge for the Tigers, the Campbellsville Tigers. And I uh, look like four there. Very, very questionable rally there. Looked like a four touch on Georgetown, and then they call an over on Campbellsville. I'm no genius, but I'm pretty sure there's something wrong there. Here's Ryan Gunn to serve. Zoom Kolk, free ball is one over. Pass from Gunn. Outside attack from Chavez. Unsuccessful as he hits the antenna. 21-20. A thrilling first set for sure. Morales to serve, goes into the net there. And now we have Miguel Vega going back to serve. Georgetown, three points away from closing out set one. Campbell is going to try to make sure that doesn't happen as Grand makes the pass. And Zoom Colt gets the swing and the kill. The team leader in kills adds another one to his stat resume. And play resumes here. As a day's hard swing. And swing and a miss there. Is number 13, Tyree Wesley. Hits nothing but air. Twenty-two, twenty-two. A day's serve. Good dug up by gun though. And Chavez, a swing goes out of bounds. And Campbellsville takes a lead here. And Georgetown decides to call a timeout. 23-22 is your score here in Gosser Gymnasium. We'll be back on the CU Sports Network. Here on the CU Sports Network, Tigers have taken a lead as, or excuse me, Gambles has taken a lead, 23-22. Feels so weird. I'm used to calling them Tigers. But we have two teams that are the Tigers, so I got to call them by their school names. And Campbellsville is serving. And the ball is deemed down as Heineman tips it over. Twenty-three, twenty-three. Heinemann's back to serve. Tigers.
Canasebi with the pass. And Bencourt wins the joust versus two people. And Coach Alvarez hypes up his setter as he gets what could be a very crucial point here in this set. And a free ball here. Can the Tigers convert? And Campbellsville takes set one over Georgetown, 25-23. That's their first set victory over Georgetown this season, and boy, was it a thrilling one. We'll be back with set two here on the CU Sports Network. Welcome back to Gossage Gymnasium here. Exciting and thrilling set one here as Campbellsville defeated Georgetown in set one, 25 to 23. That is their first set victory over Georgetown this season. Big key points for the Tigers in this first set was hard aggressive serves make Georgetown uncomfortable on their serve received and they'll have to play out of system. Great roll shots by Campbellsville and the front row attackers as well. The back row defense does need to work a little bit more, identifying where their blockers are at and then adjusting in order to get a good dig. Georgetown on the other hand is focusing mostly on getting Chavez, Morrissey and Gunn the ball, trying to get their kills up and going. Serve received, they need to work on that. Um, Christoph Kowalski, number 15, is in the game. He's the reigning MSC player of the year here. Let's see what he can do for Georgetown into the second set or possibly give them some momentum. 
Georgetown started off serving for set one. And now Campbellsville and Kareel Ade will be serving to start set two. Let's see if Campbellsville can win here in this set two and hopefully set three to hand Georgetown their first loss. But the game's not over till it's over, and we'll see who comes out victorious here. Kareel Ade to serve. Top serve right to Krzysztof Kowalski, outside set. And Kowalski's swing goes into the net. Campbellsville once again starts out with the first point of the set. A day getting ready to serve. The lefty, lefty serves are always the, the tough ones to pass. And that's an ace there for Kareel a day. Very good cross-court serve there from the lefty. Serving from the right side of the court to the left side of the court. Roll shot there. Pass from Bride. And Wesley puts it down for the Georgetown kill. Heineman here to serve. First time serving in this in the set for Georgetown. Middle attack. Grand is solo blocked by Wesley there in the middle. Georgetown ties it up 2-2. Heineman with the top serve. Tanisebi pass. Kowalski gets it up, and a double is called on Wesley. And now we have Jakob Zumkolk back to serve for Campbellsville. And Kowalski's swing is out of bounds. 4-2 in favor of Campbellsville. Despite both of these teams having rivalries in almost every sport, for volleyball, these two teams actually have very good relations. The most important one being Zoom Kolk and Kowalski. Here we have Bride. Here's Tennessee through the triple block. Excellent play there by Tennessee. 5 2 in favor of Camelzo. Georgetown's wiping up the floor there. Back to what I was saying, ever since these programs, ever since Georgetown started their program back in 2020, Campbellsville's always been one of the nicer teams to them. And the, the Campbellsville Tiger program respects Georgetown and they respect Campbellsville. And that's what you like to see in the volleyball world. And here's Zoom Kolk to serve for Campbellsville. Down the line, right to Kowalski. And a double is called on Heineman there. Four point lead, 6 2 in favor of Campbellsville. Georgetown appears to be a little bit irritated there in their own heads. It's Kowalski with the pass. Back. And Tennessee is on fire right now. Kills and blocks. Five point game here. And Tennessee trying to say that Heineman was over. 
And this time Tennessee is blocked and Campbell's little coach Alvarez is trying to debate with the ref here. And now Coach Alvarez is trying to instruct his captain Betancourt to go talk to the up ref. But now the down ref is going to talk there. Just want to give you a little bit of an update. Make sure you guys join us tomorrow for another Camelsville Tiger volleyball match as it will be our senior night against Rio Grande, and we will be celebrating senior Jakob Zoom Kolk. And the call's reversed there. The up ref gives the point to Campbellsville. And now the Georgetown coach is talking to the down official, seeing what happened there. And Georgetown is not happy whatsoever. And now Heineman, the court captain for Georgetown, is going to talk to the up official. But while we're in this little bit of a break, just want to highlight some upcoming events that we have here. Tomorrow, March 25th, 5 p.m., we have, or excuse me, March 25th, men's golf will play the Heritage Hill Invite. Women's flag football will play tomorrow versus Reinhardt. And baseball will be playing against Freed Hardman. And obviously men's volleyball, as I just said, will be playing Rio Grande. Lots of Campbellsville sports tomorrow, so make sure you tune in. As you see, Heineman's discussing with his coach what the call was. And the down official is trying to hurry it up here. And play will finally get underway here. Campbellsville leads 8-2 to two against the number seven ranked team in the nation. Pass from Kowalski, Heinemann, middle attack. Grand and Tanisebi were there, but Wesley puts the ball on the other side of the net and gets the kill there. And now for Georgetown, number 15, Christoph Kowalski. Ready to serve here. And the top serve goes into the net. This Campbellsville Tiger team is one that thrives off of momentum. When they have that, they can't be stopped. And they have all the momentum in the world on their side right now. Grand's float serve. I think the wind carried it, went out of bounds. And now C.J. Bride is back to serve for Georgetown. Here's a pass from LeBoy. Outside, Tanisebi, another roll shot. Georgetown has failed to defend that roll shot from Tanisebi. And yet again, we have to clean up something on Georgetown's side. Reza Tenesebi is an X factor in this game. If he is on, there is no stopping him, and he will take his team as far as they need to go to win. Here we have Diego Betancourt with the dyed hair. And now Betancourt is here to serve. Pass from Kowalski. Middle set to Vega is good for a kill. Morales' dig went wild. And Georgetown gets the point as they are down by five.
Sean Bowler to serve. Middle attack here, Jovian Banks cashes it in with the kill there. And the Tigers get the momentum back from the side out there. Reza Tanasevi to serve for the Tigers. Hard serve there, dug up by Bride. Middle attack, blocked by Banks. He free balls one. Excellent play there by Jovian Banks. Banks could have swung at that ball, but he realized that the defenders in left back were coming up, so he free balls it over, and they can't get to it in time. That is a very high IQ play by Jovian Banks. Kowalski gets the back row attack there for Georgetown. Twelve to six is the score in favor of Campbellsville. And the serve from Gunn goes out of bounds. Fernand Morales is back to serve. And another double is called there on Heinemann. Those doubles are not helping out one bit for Georgetown. They are now down by eight, and uh, concussion protocol. Grand gets hit in the back of the head off the miss serve from Morales. Miguel Vega is now back to serve for Georgetown. And that's back-to-back -back miss serves there from Georgetown. It's loud here in Gosser Gymnasium. Kirill a day. Hard top serve expected here. That's an ace there for Kirill a day. Campbellsville up by nine, making a statement here in set two. And a timeout is called by Georgetown. Campbellsville up 16 to seven. We'll be back with more set two action here on the CU Sports Network. Welcome back to Gosser Gymnasium here on the CU Sports Network where your Campbellsville Tigers are making a statement as they are leading Georgetown 16 to seven here in set two after previously taking set one. Incredible energy here from not only the Tigers of Campbellsville on the court, but the Campbell's old bench as well. And even the students here, they're all showing out. They know how important this game is. Speaking of important, Kareel Day is serving here. And I think another ace is important. Kareel Day gets another point for Campbell's own, puts them up by 10. 
Georgetown visibly frustrated here. We'd like to give a shout out to our the Camel's old trainer, Josh Williams, for supplying all these towels that are being used up in this game. Thank you, Josh. We appreciate you. Seventeen seven is your score here. Carrillo a day. High top serve. Monster serve there. Oh my, what a serve. And Gran gets the kill. Excellent serve, excellent pass, excellent set, and excellent kill. That is perfect execution there by Campbellsville. This time of day serve goes just wide and out of bounds there. Georgetown gets the point, still 18-8 in favor of Campbellsville. Heinemann's back to serve for Georgetown. Pass from Zoom Kolk. Right back to Zoom Kolk. Ben Gore goes, and he gets the kill off the hands of Heinemann. And yet again, a towel has to be used. Coach Alvarez has done an excellent job of preparing his team for this game, and they are showing out, leading by 11. If this Campbellsville team can get hot right before the MSC tournament, it'll go a long way. Tyree Wesley, though, gets the kill there as there is no block, and he just pops it down. Here we have Kowalski to serve. The pass from LeBoy, great pass. And the back set to a day is... A good set, but it was a it was called a double. That does not bode well in favor of Campbellsville. Georgetown finally hits double digits as Kowalski is back to serve yet again. And as Georgetown hits 10, Campbellsville hits 20 there off the miss serve of Kowalski. And Alvaro Grand is back to serve. Gunn with the pass. Heinemann sets it to bowler. Betancourt joust with Gunn. Tenasebi blocked and gets the kill. Puts it through the block of the Georgetown defense, he is on fire, ladies and gentlemen. Here's Grand to serve. Guns pass, dug up by LeBoy. Bencourt sets it, Tanisebi gets another kill. I don't know what Coach Alvarez has told his team in the locker room before the game, but whatever he did tell them, it's, it's working. Georgetown visibly frustrated right now. Everybody in the gym can see it. And a rotation violation is called on Campbellsville. And out of rotation was called on Campbellsville. Diego Betancourt is going to talk. And he will report back.
And it seems that it was Tennis Ebby who was out of rotation. 11 point game here as Campbellsville leads 22 to 11. 12 point game now as Campbellsville leads here 23 11. Diego Betancourt is serving now. And he's looking to close out set two. And the block from Tennessee and Banks. Bowler tried to swing cross court but was met by Tennessee and Banks. And now it is set point for Campbellsville. Betancourt misses the serve. And now Sean Bowler, the sophomore outside hitter from Miami, is back to serve for Georgetown as they are down by 12 with set point, Campbellsville. Here's the pass from LeBoy. Outside set to Carrillo Day. Dug up by Kowalski. Gun swing. is deemed a tool by the up ref, despite the line judge saying that it was out of bounds. Bowler back to serve again. And that's the set, folks. 25-13 in favor of Campbellsville is your final score for set two. Tigers in total lead the sets 2-0. And we will be back with set three here on the CU Sports Network. Welcome back to Gosser Gymnasium here as the Campbellsville Tigers are up 2-0 on the Georgetown Tigers and looking to close out this game 3-0 on the Georgetown Tigers. Campbellsville is playing with 
the most amount of energy I have seen them play with all season. And what a time to do it as well. You're nearing the end of the season, going into the conference tournament, and you're playing one of the best teams, not only in your conference, but in the nation. And they are just taking it to them. And that's exactly what you want out of this Tiger team. If they had this energy all season, they'd probably be better than Georgetown. But we're at the end of the season, and what Campbellsville can do right now is focus on this game, focus on the next game against Rio Grande, and then conference, where they will have to pour out their heart and soul into those games. But now we are back with some set three action as Ryan Gunn is starting to serve. Top serve from Gunn here. Pass from Morales. Perfect pass there. Zoom Coke with the kill. Camels, though, for the third straight set, starts out with the first point. Zoom Coke getting ready, staying calm. Kowalski with the pass. Heinemann sets it right back to Kowalski. Zoom Kolk with a dig. And I think the court monster got Betancourt there. The dreaded court monster strikes again. Number three, L.C. Newton. The junior setter from Louisville, Kentucky. He's back to serve here. And his serve goes out of bounds there. Campbellsville will takes a 2-1 lead now. Now we have Alvaro Grand serving. Excellent float serve there. Carrella Day just sets the ball over. Grand the middle with a very athletic-like dig, and Betancourt gets a double. And now Van Heinemann is in to serve. Into the net it goes. Georgetown needs to fix these serving errors if they want to have a chance to win. Excellent serve by Betancourt there. Bride outside set to Bowler. Excellent pass from Morales to Tennessee. And here's Tennessee again, swings, gets blocked. Carilla Day playing FIFA out here. And Kowalski puts it through the solo block of Banks there for a Georgetown kill. Three three game, Kowalski serving. Kowalski serves into the net. Entering for Campbellsville now is Jakob Zoom Kolk. Reza Tennessee is serving. His serve goes long and out of bounds. Coach Alvarez telling his Campbellsville team to rise up, get that same energy back that they had in set one and two. Morales with the pass. Outside set, Zoom Kolk puts it down the line and out of bounds. Georgetown takes a 5-4 lead here in set three. Mm -hmm. 
senior C.J. Bride. A day serves. And that's a kill there for Campbellsville. A day swung for that back right corner. He saw the middle back defender and the right back defender sneak up a little bit, getting ready for that roll shot. Kowalski, pass. Heineman to Bowler. Morales, Betancourt, Tennessebi. And Tennessebi takes a rip at it and nails Bright in the face. But good sportsmanship, though. He apologizes. Bright accepts it, and we continue playing. Bright to Hyman. Gunn's tip off the hands of a day is good for a Georgetown kill. Gunn, a very smart player. Very high contact, but if he can't get that high contact, he already knows where the block is. So he'll take the ball and throw it wherever he wants in order to get that kill. Here's Bowler. Served to Tennessee. Outside set zoom. Kolk. And Hyman saves it. Free ball here. Right side set. Cut real a day with a kill. A day is showing out this game. He played well versus Midway, but this is his game. And the serve goes out of bounds. 7-7 seven, seven game here. Pass from Zoom Kolk. Back to Zoom Kolk. And he puts it down for a kill. Campbellsville is finding the right angles in getting the kills that they need to. This is the Tiger Volleyball that we have all been waiting for. Here's Kowalski on the swing. Zoom Kolk, great pass there. And Grand, a little bit of a hat trick there on the hook shot to get the kill. 9-7 in favor of Campbellsville. Senior leader Jakob Zumkolk is back to serve. Now we have a little bit of a discussion here. And Hyman is done talking to the referee. And play will resume. Campbell's low. They're leading, but they need more energy. Pass from Kowalski. Heineman middle set there to Vega, who gets the kill. Back to serve now for Georgetown is L.C. Newton. Newton with the float serve goes into the net. 10 8 in favor of Campbellsville. And here we have Alvaro Grand to serve. And a beautiful let serve is good for an ace. He was intending to serve it short anyways, based off the angle and the contact of his hand to the ball. But the fact that it touched the net 
It distracted the Georgetown players, making it think that was going to go back to Campbell's side. It went over. It's an ace. Here's a little bit longer of a serve, right to Ryan Gunn. And a stuff block there. Is what a play. Just what a play. A stuff block from Banks. He thought it was good for a point there. A little bit of a play. The ball wasn't down. Heineman free balls it, but right to Tanisevi, who hammers it down for a kill. What a play. And now Heineman was talking to the up ref, and now we resume play as Grand is back to serve. He's going to try to aim right between Kowalski and Gunn here. All right to Kowalski. And a beautiful roll shot there by Christoph Kowalski. Puts Georgetown down by three now. 12-9 is your score in favor of Campbellsville. Here's LeBoy with the pass. Slide attack. Banks with the kill. That was the play, ladies and gentlemen. That's the play that gives Campbellsville all the momentum now. Ben Court, good serve there, right to gun. Solo block by Tanisebi. He is him. The hype is so real that Campbellsville has been issued a yellow card. That's never a good thing, but the hype is there. Campbellsville gets the warning. If they get another one, that will be the equivalent of a red card, which means that Georgetown will get a point. So they'll need to keep it contained. The yellow card was issued because the Campbellsville bench is getting so hype right now that they're basically going on to the court. The hype is good, but you know what I mean. Ben Court serve. And he gets the ace on Bride. Six point game here in Gosser Gymnasium. If you're a Campbell's a volleyball fan, this is amazing right now. Betancourt serve, however, goes out of bounds. There's Morales with the pass. A day gets blocked. And Kowalski back to serve for Georgetown as they are down by four. Pass from Andres Laboy. Middle attack from Banks. Clips the net. Roll shot dug up by Morales. Back set, Tanisebi into the net there. Tigers had all the hype and they're losing a little bit of momentum, mostly because of their own unforced errors. Georgetown's making the mistakes. All you gotta do is get the ball over and let them make those mistakes. Pass there from Morales. A day high contact swing. And both the line judges say that's out of bounds. And now it's a two-point game. 15-13 in favor of Campbellsville. Morales with the pass. Outside set to a day. Hard cross-court tip. And what would have been a kill by gun is taken away as a double from Heinemann.
And a substitution now. Jakob Zumkolk is in for Andres Laboy. Reza Tenasebi is serving for Campbellsville now, up by three. And a block there from a day and Banks. And good on Betancourt and Banks there to refrain a day from talking across the net. Back row attack, Tennessee gets the tool off the hands of Miguel Vega. Here's Fernand Morales. Right to Bride. And a miscommunication there by Heinemann and Kowalski. Georgetown looks defeated already. They'll need to find something, need to get a big play to come back and get this set victory. Another rotation violation is called on Campbellsville, however. Sean Bowler serving for Georgetown. Overpass from Morales, Bride to Vega. And that's the kill there that Georgetown could potentially need. It'll give them some momentum, but I don't think it'll give them the momentum they need. Bowler is getting ready to serve again. His Georgetown team is down by two, 18-16. Pass from Zoom Colk. Ball's going right back to Zoom Colk. Hard swing there, dug up by Bride. Ball's going right to Ryan Gunn. Whose pass is dug up by Morales. Outside ball is going to go to Zoom Colk. Swings. He is blocked by Heinemann. Now Georgetown is rallying back. Bowler taking his time. Tennessee with the pass. Back set to a day. And the wild play is good for a Georgetown kill as Grand tried to save it. And it's 18 18. And Georgetown is still wiping up the floor. And now we are ready to go as Bowler finally gets the ball and we're back ready to serve. Here to continue set three as the game is tied 18-18. Yeah. And the ball goes into the net there in Campbellsville. Pulls away with the lead, 19-18. Here's Kowalski with the pass. Set goes the gun. The pass is good from Zoom Kolk. A day swings. Bowler gets the pass. Another outside set to Gun. Morales gets the pass. Outside set to Zoom Colk, who swings hard. And Georgetown is in the net. 
20 to 18 here in favor of Campbellsville. And now both teams are trying to rally as much as they can. Even the fans for both teams that are here trying to rally as much as they can. This game is exciting for sure, and we have a timeout here. Campbellsville is up 20 to 18. We'll be back with the finale of set three on the CU Sports Network. We are back in Gosser Gymnasium. You're watching Campbellsville Volleyball here on the CU Sports Network. If Campbellsville pulls this out, this will be very monumental for them. I have right here the whole list of matches that Georgetown and Campbellsville have had. Campbellsville has won the first two. Georgetown has won the last four. If Campbellsville can pull away here, it'll be huge for them. But let's see what happens here as Corella Day is serving. Hard serve right to Kowalski. And the hard cross-court kill is good by Ryan Gunn. With a hitter like Gunn, wherever the ball is, you can't focus on the ball. You have to look at where he is. If he's in a situation where he's facing, oh, let's see. If he's facing the line, He's going to swing line, so you want to block up on his attacking shoulder. But if the ball is pushed out too far from the pin, you still got to get on that attacking shoulder. There's no way he can turn line, so you don't need to go all the way out to the pin. Serve there from Gunn is dug up from Tanisebi. And we are tied 20-20 here as Kowalski gets the kill. Gun serve goes right to Tennessee. Outside set Zoom Coke. Who gets the kill? Georgetown tied it and Campbellsville pulled away yet again with a one point lead. Zoom Coke is back to serve now. Here we have a day who Reza Tanisebi gets blocked by Miguel Vega. 21 21. Entering for Camelzo's Andre Slaboy and back to serve now for Georgetown is a new face we haven't seen yet. Tyler Laha from Louisville, Kentucky. Off load serve there. Tennessee gets blocked by Vega, or not Vega, excuse me, Tyree Wesley. Twenty-two twenty-one in favor of Georgetown now. Tennessee blocked. And the ball goes out of bounds now. 
And what looked to be a for sure set win for Campbellsville is now turned into a two point deficit, 23-21. We'll be right back with some set three here on the CU Sports Network. Welcome back to Gosser Gymnasium here on the CU Sports Network. Georgetown has taken a 23-21 lead over Campbellsville. Short float serve, Morales. Outside set, Tennessee gets the kill there, 23-22. If you're a Campbellsville volleyball fan right now, I know you're a little bit tensed up. You want Campbellsville to win, especially because of what this would mean to this program. Here's Grand to serve. High float serve. Ball's going to Kowalski. And the ball hits the back line there for Georgetown. And here's set point for Georgetown. Heineman serve is in, and that is set for Georgetown. 25-22. Tigers are still leading the sets 2-1. to one. We'll be right back with set four here on the CU Sports Network.
And welcome back to Gasser Gymnasium here on the CU Sports Network. Camelsville leads sets two to one. Could have closed out set three, but Georgetown had other plans. Ben Court with the serve right to Kowalski. And a no net call there, but it doesn't matter. Camelsville hits it out of bounds. And despite Georgetown getting the point anyways, they're still screaming at the refs. Georgetown starts off this set with the first point now, and Ryan Gunn is back to serve for Georgetown. And Georgetown. Puts down the free ball there. And Gunn serves it in to the net. Jakob Zumkot comes into the game. Reza Tenesebi is back to serve. And Georgetown seems to be taking a lot of breaks here. It's making this game slow. Good serve there by Tennis Ebby. Pass from Bride. Back set to Bowlers. No good. As he swings out of bounds down the line. Tennis Ebby serve right to Bride yet again. Middle attack. Good for Vega as he gets the kill for Georgetown. Tyler Laha is back to serve for Georgetown. Back set to Ide is good for a kill. Fernand Morales is back to serve now. And he snipes the heel of Bowler. Ball was going to go out of bounds, but the ball it was like a heat-seeking missile. Just decided to tag Bowler, and that's an ace for Fernand Morales. Kowalski, roll shot. Good for Georgetown kill. The gym is extremely quiet, especially after those first three sets, which were High energy. Hyman serve. And an over is called on Diego Betancourt. And Heinemann is back to serve. Is his Georgetown team is up, 5-4. Zoom, Colt gets the kill there for Campbellsville, 5-5. Five, five. And yet again, Heinemann is wiping the floor. And now we have 
Kareel Ade, one of the newcomers to this Campbellsville volleyball program. And the ball goes into the net there. Georgetown continues to hold on to this one point lead as Christoph Kowalski is back to serve. Raise a Tennessee pass. Zoom Colk going to swing, but he gets blocked. Georgetown up by two, seven five. Pass from Grand. Back set to a day. And Gunn with the hook shot as he gets the kill. And now Tennis Ebby decides to use the towel. And now after that's done, Kowalski is serving. 8-5 in favor of Georgetown. Campbellville needs some energy to rally back. Betancourt just tips it over. Morales backs it to Zoom Cole because he swings hard cross court and gets the kill. What a play. That could be the play to give Campbellsville this much needed momentum in this fourth set as they can try to win the match. Zoom Kolk is now serving for Campbellsville. Captain Bride goes wild. And the swing from Bowler is out of bounds. One point game here. Campbellsville rallying back with some momentum. That serve tries to go down the line, unsuccessful as it goes out of bounds, and that's a side up for Georgetown. CJ Bride back to serve for Georgetown, and Camelzel is looking to side out. And a day is blocked by Vega and Gunn. Bride to Morales, Bancourt sets to Tennessee, who gets the kill there off the hands of Vega and Bowler. And as we are waiting, just want to give a special shout out to all of those who are watching at home or on their mobile devices. Thank you for making Council Volleyball what it is and the CU Sports Network what it is as well. You viewers are what really matters. And thank you to the production crew of this volleyball match. Here's Grand to serve, goes right to gun. Banks hammers it down. That's Something that Campbellsville is really going to need here in the long haul. Here's an outside swing from Gunn. Grand, whoa, low outside set there. Bright outside set to Gunn, gets blocked. Swings again, block touch there. Banks getting ready to go. Outside set, Tennessee blocked. 
Tennessee roll shot, good, off the hands of Bowler. 10-10 game. And now it seems that the Tigers are having to clean up their side of the court from all the sweat. Assistant coach Manny Pachame doing his best right there. The Campbell's Little Tiger volleyball team has become the official gym janitorial staff. Here's the pass from Kowalski, set to gun. Swings and gets the kill off the leg of Grand. Here's Bowler to serve. And there's the tool by Banks. Let's make a wish, everybody. Score is 11-11. Betancourt with the serve. Bride pass. Set to gun, who gets the tool there. Twelve eleven in favor of Georgetown. And now Gunn is back to serve. Hard float serve right to Morales. Day swings it right to Bowler. Now Bowler has to swing. Back set, Tennessee gets the kill. Cross court, 12-12. Now a little bit of discussion here from Coach Alvarez and his Campbellville Tigers as Georgetown decides to clean up their side of the court yet again. And I'll raise uh, Tanisebi is back to serve. He's going to need to rally off a few here to give Campbellville the momentum they'll need to close out this set four. What a serve there. Pass from Kowalski. Back row attack from Gunn is good for a kill. Now Tyler Laha is in to serve for Georgetown. Short float right to Zumkolk. Back set, a day tips it right in front of Gunn and gets the kill there. 13-13, back to an even score. Morales to serve, goes right to Gunn. Middle attack. Tyree Wesley hammers it down in front of Morales, and Georgetown is back up by one. Hyman gets the ace off the shanked pass from Morales. Hyman serves right to Zoom Kolk. Ball goes back to Zoom Kolk. He gets blocked. Oh, 
And now Georgetown is starting to get their momentum. High and hard top serve goes right to Tennessee. Outside Zoom Colk, he is blocked there. Now let's see what Campbell can work with now as a day swings and misses. And Coach Alvarez calls the timeout for his Campbellsville Tigers. 17-13 is the score here in Gosford Gymnasium. We'll be right back with more set four action here on the CU Sports Network. Welcome back to Gosser Gymnasium here on the CU Sports Network. 17-13 is your score in favor of the Georgetown Tigers as they're defeating the Campbellsville Tigers right now by four. Right now, Georgetown's getting all the momentum on their side. Campbellsville seems to have gotten themselves in a little bit of a hole here. Finn Heineman is back to serve for Georgetown, so let's see what will happen at the end of the set four. Pass from Tennessee. Here's Kowalski who free balls it over. And a miscommunication by Betancourt and Zoom Colk results in a kill from Kristoff Kowalski. 18-13 is the score now. And for the first time this game, number five, Mason McKinney comes in for the Tigers. Mason McKinney makes the play. And a day swings out of bound. And now Georgetown is riding with all the momentum. Tennessee with the pass and a double by Betancourt. 2013 in favor of Georgetown, and now John Marcos Gonzalez comes in for Carrillo Day. And now Tanisebi needs to wipe down the floor. I am in to serve now. Pass from Zoom Colk. And he puts it through the block and gets the kill there. That's exactly what Campbellsville needs. Here's John Marcos Gonzalez. His serve goes right to the back line. And Georgetown, very frustrated with that call there. 
Gonzalez short serve this time. Zoom Colk bangs it off the head of Wesley. Campbell's little coming back here. 20 to 16 is the score. And Gonzalez serves into the net there. Georgetown catches a break. Kowalski back to serve. Pass from Tennessee. Set from Morales. Goes to Zoom Colk. Bride with the dig. And Zoom Colk swings into the net there. And the last time out of the set is called by Coach Alvarez. 22 16 is the score in favor of Georgetown here. We'll be right back with the finale set four here on the CU Sports Network. Welcome back to Gosser Gymnasium here on the CU Sports Network. Campbellsville is down by six to Georgetown. Georgetown wins this set. It'll be 2-2. Two -two. They'll go to a fifth set. First to 15 win by two. But we haven't gotten there just yet. There's still some volleyball left to be played as Krzysztof Kowalski is going to serve. Zoom Kolk with the pass. Tennessee sends it over. Gunn gets blocked. Gunn does not get blocked. He gets the kill that time. 23-16. Entering the game now is David Adkins, number 11, and number 9, Drew Steinmetz. Pass from Zoom Kolk. Steinmetz sets back to Zoom Kolk. Into the net, though. Needs to push it out a little bit more. But this is set point now for Georgetown. Kowalski serve goes into the net. 24-17. Zoom Kolk back to serve. Kowalski with the pass. Outside set to Gunn. Hammers it down the line, but it's out of bounds. Zoom Colk to serve again. And that's set for Georgetown. Set five, here we come. We'll take a quick break, and we will be back with the finale of the game here on the CU Sports Network.
Welcome back to Gosser Gymnasium, and we will begin set five. Campbells will start off up two nothing in set victories. Georgetown has rallied back. And the wise words of some volleyball players, if you're going to take it to five, you might as well win. Let's see which of the Tigers will come out victorious. Campbellsville needs to find that momentum they had in the first two sets and even some of the third set to find a way to transfer that into this fifth set so you can win and knock off the number one team in your conference. Ryan Gunn will be starting out serving for set five. Pass for Morales. And Grant starts out set five with a kill. For those of you also watching NCAA basketball, Alabama just lost, so pretty sure your bracket could be busted. Here's Zoom Colk with a serve in the middle attack there from Vega. A day swings right to gun. Grand tips it right back to gun. And the ball is out of bounds, Upref calls it. 2-0 in favor of Campbellsville. Zoom Kolk, another float serve right to Kowalski. Outside set to Kowalski. And Aday digs it, but Grand was not aware. 2-1 here in favor of Campbellsville. As Tyler Laha is going in to serve. Here's the pass from Morales. Back set to a day is good for a Tiger kill. Tips it right to the corner. And it seems like we have an injury here on the Georgetown sideline. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with more of Set 5 on the CU Sports Network. Thank you for coming back here in Gosford Gymnasium on the CU Sports Network. Had a little bit of an injury. Uh, we hope the player for Georgetown is okay. We will keep him in our wishes. Liam Morrissey enters the contest, and Alvaro Grand is back to serve. Float serve there. Here's Kowalski on the hard swing. And lost the ball in the, the AC shaft. 3-2 still in favor of Campbellsville. And now back to serve will be Finn Heinemann. Top serve dug up by the boy. Here's Banks in the middle, pass from Brad. Kowalski hits Morales on the shoulder, and the game is tied at three. Yeah. 
Heinemann to serve now. Pass from Morales. And Tennessee puts it through the block, gives Campbellsville the lead yet again. Sean Bowler is back in. Here's Heinemann, sets it to Kowalski. Hits a knuckleball out towards our student section. Tigers of Campbellsville up by two now, 5-3. Guns pass, Heinemann. Kowalski swings into the net. Six three in favor of Campbellsville. They're starting to get the momentum. Here's Gunn. And Wesley hammers the ball down right in front of Morales. And the serve from Kowalski darts out of bounds. And now coming into the game is Jakob Zoom Kolk. And I overheard Coach Alvarez say to Zoom Kolk, help out with the middle. The middle is the big hitter right now. But let's not forget, you also have Ryan Gunn on the outside who you need to focus on. Tennessee serves out of bounds. DJ Bride is in to serve now for Georgetown. Pass. Bencourt sets it to Zoom Kolk. Free balls it right to gun. Tennessee gets it. Zoom Kolk runs off two and gets the kill. Now Fernand Morales back to serve for Campbellsville as they lead eight to five. And now Heinemann for some reason is talking to the up ref. Tigers have all the momentum they need right now in this game. Hopefully to close it out. Morales, good let serve there. Pass from Gunn. Middle set. Dug up by Morales' knee. But the ball does not go anywhere but the wall. Now we have Sean Bowler to serve for Georgetown. They're down by two right now. Nice, they're back down by three. Tigers have the momentum right now. They can get this point and then they can cruise to five more points. End of the game, that's what they need right now. Now we have Kareel Ade to serve. Scores 9-6 in favor of Campbellsville.
Hard serve there, and that's good for a Tiger ace. Timeout, Georgetown. 10-6 is your score here on the CU Sports Network. Welcome back to Gosser Gymnasium here on the CU Sports Network. Campbellsville has rallied hard. They have fought hard, and they are leading now 10-6 here in set five. The key to this team is momentum, and they have found that momentum right when they needed to in this set five. They're up by four here, a day to serve. Talk about momentum, that's some more for you. A day gets another ace. Up by five here. Hard serve by day goes out of bounds. Here's Gunn to serve. 11 to 7. Here's the pass from Morales. Tanisevi, high out of system set. Betancourt plays it out. Back set to Zoom Kolk. And a double is called on Morales. Now Gunn getting ready to serve again, 11 to 8. Tannis heavy pass. Here's to Zoom Kolk. His roll shot goes right to Gunn. Setter dumped by Heinemann. Tannis heavy swings, gets the back row attack. No! The ref called him over. And now it'll be an 11 to nine game. Hey, hey, and we have a little bit of, and now the score is 11 to nine. Yes, we had some scoreboard problems. Having a lot of problems this game. Here's Ryan Gunn to serve for Georgetown. Serve goes out of bounds, and now it is 12 to 9. Here's Kowalski. Gets the kill there. 12-10. In for Georgetown now comes Tyler Laha to serve. In for Campbellsville comes Andres Laboy. Here's a float serve from Morales. 
Tanisebi swings. Blocked, but it, it touches Tanisebi. A little bit of confusion there. Happens to all volleyball players. And a timeout here is called by Campbellsville. 12-11 in favor of Campbellsville. We'll be right back with set five action on the CU Sports Network. Welcome back to Gosser Gymnasium here on the CU Sports Network. Campbell's Hill leads Georgetown 12 to 11 in this thrilling five set match. It's been a treat to watch, it's been a treat to call. I'm hoping you all are having the same amount of enjoyment that I am right now. Thank you for watching this game. Laha serve goes into the net. Coach Alvarez is hyped for his Campbellsville team. This could be his first victory over Georgetown. Here's Alvaro Grand. Serve away. Pass goes gun. Kowalski blocked by Banks and Betancourt. Match point here for Campbellsville, 14-11. And the final timeout is called. 14-11, set match point for Campbellsville. We'll be right back with the finale here on the CU Sports Network. There you see it, the soccer boys cheering on our Campbellsville Tigers. The crowd for Campbellsville is ecstatic right now. They are so happy that Campbellsville can beat Georgetown right here, right now. They just need this point. Alvaro Grand back to serve. This could be for the win. Maybe next time. Kowalski puts it through the block, 14-12. And Heineman serve. And it's loud here in Gosser right now. And that will do it. Campbellsville defeats the number one team in the conference, Georgetown. Campbellsville improves to nine and 14. Georgetown goes to 19 and six. Georgetown has just received their first conference loss of the season. Tomorrow, Campbellsville will be playing the University of Rio Grande for their senior night, so be sure to tune into that. 
And since we had such a big victory here in Augusta Gymnasium, we will do something special. We will have an interview with the player and then Coach Alvarez. We'll be right back here on the CU Sports Network. Welcome back here. I am joined by junior middle Jovian Banks. Jovian, what a win. How do you feel? I feel great. Jesus Christ. It's amazing. Lord have mercy. So what was your mindset coming into this game, knowing that Georgetown is not only one of the best teams in the conference, but one of the best teams in the nation? My mindset, you got to go after it. This is an aggressive team. It's one of the best in the conference. you got to be aggressive. You can't, you can't come in with that mindset of, oh, I'm just going to – Throw it over. We got to go. We got to get every point. What was the mindset in the locker room? What was like the environment of everybody in there, knowing that this was going to be a huge game? The environment was super locked in. I really appreciate every one of my teammates. They really held everyone accountable, especially me. Really helped me focus in and get these points. Awesome. Well, thank you, Jovian. Thank you so much. You had an amazing game. Thank Congratulations. You. Go celebrate with your teammates. And now we are going to go on to our next interview with head coach Alfonso Alvarez. Coach, congratulations on the win. How are you feeling? Hey, Gary, I'm doing really well, actually. <laughs> um, what a fun match, right? What a fun night. I think that, um, you know, that's a nationally ranked team, and we knew that coming in. They're number one in our conference, and I know what I got in the gym every day, and we just – continued to do the things that we've been doing all year and it just slowly starts to turn the tide and we're finally doing the things that I know we can do. That's awesome and since Georgetown is a very high powered offensive defensive team what was your game plan coming into this because you can't really prepare for that. Well we asked the guys to be aggressive we asked the guys to be physical we know the defense in the back row that we have is very solid we have two guys back there between Andres Laboy and, uh, and Fernand Morales were battling every day for that libero jersey. It's a constant conversation in my office, right? And, uh, and we know that back there we could pick up a lot of balls. And so we just focused a lot on the front row and reading what we needed to see and executing those blocks. And I felt like we did a pretty good job for the most part. You guys did amazing. Coach, excellent win. 
I want you to go celebrate with your players. Congratulations. Gary, I appreciate you very much. Thank you for all your work. Thank you for the whole sports information staff. You guys are outstanding. And if I don't, <laughs> you guys are the absolute best. And if I don't get a shout out to my mom, I'll hear it again. So, mom, I hope you're listening. I hope you're watching. I love you. I miss you. Hope all is well. Awesome. Thank you, coach. And that is it for tonight. Campbellsville defeats Georgetown in five. Thank you to all the viewers watching, and thank you to everybody who makes this production possible. I'm Garrick Michaels. Good night, and God bless.